Welcome back. Many of you have written in asking where I find inspiration to be in the kitchen and to spend so much time cooking. That's an easy one. Now this question has many parts. So I've put together a list of five ways to inspire your creativity in the kitchen. Number one, clean your space. Clean your space, clean your space. I cannot cook happily in a messy kitchen. I get frustrated, I get tense, I don't enjoy the time there, and your food reflects that. So clean your space. And if it just means cleaning up after every single meal so that you can walk out of the kitchen and have a clean space to return to, then that's your answer. I cannot go to bed with dishes in my sink because that means waking up to a mess and that is not how I wanna start my day. So clean your space, number one. The second way to create an inspired space is a term that the French use called mise en place, and all of that means is your prep in place. This morning, for instance, I was making scrambled eggs, so I had my plates out, the silverware was ready, I had garnishes on the plate, everything was chopped, the parsley was peeled, the onions, avocado was sliced, the hot sauce was out, the tortillas were steamed. Everything was on the plate and ready to go. So when I put those eggs in the pan, it's going to be a matter of minutes before those eggs make it to the plate. The plate is set and ready to go and the food is hot when it is set down on the table. To have your mise in place is so important because so many dishes have critical moments in their cooking and there is not time for you to stop and chop something and if you have to repeatedly stop numerous times to chop slice dice prep grate whatever you're going to run the risk of burning overcooking and you're going to make your time in the kitchen frustrating and you're not going to enjoy it so once you read through a recipe and you have everything prepped and ready to go it makes cooking fun. The third way to create a more inspired space for cooking is to have a compost bowl. Now this is a bowl that I have on my counter for every meal. Every pit, peel, scrap, shell goes into that bowl. If I am at your house and find that you don't compost, I will personally get you set up and started. If you live in a place where you cannot compost, oftentimes municipalities have facilities or you can save it for a friend that has a garden or a pig or a flower pot. If you have a patio and you have a planter, you can start a compost on your patio space. Put in a little bit of dirt, put in a layer of compost, food scraps, clean out your fridge, whatever, hair from your hairbrush, layer it with more dirt. In just a few months time, you will have created some beautiful soil from kitchen scraps. If you're enjoying this video, hit the thumbs up. It really does help. The fourth way to inspire your time in the kitchen is to read through the recipe. You don't wanna spend all of that time getting food prepped just to realize that you're missing a key ingredient or you don't have enough time or maybe the recipe is a little bit above your skill level. So reading through the recipe twice is going to help a lot. The first time you're looking for major things. Is this something that sounds like it would be good? Do I have the ingredients? Do I have the time? Do I have the skill? The second time you read through it, you're creating a mental schedule. So imagine that the recipe is going to take an hour. 
when you read it the second time, you can kind of get an idea of what you're going to be prepping up front, how much cooking time is involved, when and where you have those little breaks in the cooking process so that you can clean up your space, you can start plating, you can set the table, whatever else is required. The fifth one is an axiom that I use often, especially when I'm teaching. A sign of a pro, clean as you go. And this goes back to number one. Nobody wants to be in a space that is cluttered, messy, and chaotic. Those are the top five ways that I draw inspiration for spending time in the kitchen. Leave me a comment and let me know what inspires you to get in the kitchen. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.